And we are back here in the Pet Hours Teleturuan for week 3 of Portrait. The sixth language feature of exposition is the evaluative language. Evaluative language is a positive or negative words, positive or negative language that judges the worth of something. It suggests the degree of approval or it helps compare ideas. For example, we can say important, best, most, truth, largest, more po popular. In these words, we are putting our own judgments into a certain subject. For example, we can say it is most important that all people exercise their right to vote. That is an example of an evaluative language. The last language feature is rhetorical question. Rhetorical question is a question asked in order to create a dramatic effect or to make a point rather than get an answer. So these questions are actually not meant to be answered. Example, do you really want this to happen to our country? If not now, when? If not us, who? Again, these questions are not meant to be answered. Their purpose is for dramatic effects and not actually for information. Once again, here are the language features that we can use in constructing our argumentative essay. Present tense, conjunctions, passive voice, modals, adverbs, evaluative language, and rhetorical questions. This time, we are going to read an example article or an argumentative essay. As we read that article, take note of the language features that you will encounter. Smoking in restaurants is just not on. It must not be allowed because it is rude, harmful to others, and dangerous to the smoker. Firstly, smoking in a restaurant is impolite. The smell of the smoke affects all people and can turn them off their food. People pay to taste good food and not to be put off by foul-smelling smoke. Another reason smoking should not be allowed in restaurants is the harm it can do to others. Passive smoking, that is, breathing in smoke made by a smoker, can lead to asthma attacks and even cancer. Finally, smoking is dangerous and a health risk to the smoker. Cigarettes causes health and lung disease and people should not smoke anywhere, not just in restaurants. Have you noticed any language feature used in that article? I want you to take a look at the bold-faced texts written in red. Must not be allowed. Should not be allowed. Can lead to asthma attacks. Should not smoke anywhere. That's right. They exhibit the use of words that show the author's attitude by the use of modalities. What about the texts in blue? Let's read them. Smoke in restaurant is impolite. The smell of the smoke affects all people. People pay. Smoking is. Cigarettes cost. Can you distinguish the language feature shown there? Correct! It showcases the use of the present tense. What about the text written in green color? Let's read them. Because, firstly, another reason, finally. Can you guess what language feature that is? That's right! The article uses words that connect ideas and reasons and arguments to one another. How about the texts written in violet? Let's read them. Good, foul, dangerous. Can you guess that language feature? That's right. They are evaluative language. Remember, the goal of an exposition or an argumentative essay is to convince your audience to believe your point of view. So it is important to use these language features in your texts. This time, let us try to identify the language features shown in the following excerpts taken from the passage 
we have rib mast line. So let's practice. Excerpt number one. People must work now to protect animal habitats. Can you guess the language feature? That's right. This sentence uses modality or modal verbs. Next sentence. When are human beings going to accept responsibility for the environment and for the survival of animal species? Can you recognize that language feature? It asks a question that is not meant to be answered. That's right! This is a rhetorical question. Next sentence. As global temperatures rise, so does the number of fatalities and illnesses from heat stress, heat stroke, and cardiovascular and kidney disease. Look at the text written in red. What do you think is that language feature? This gives a sense of urgency or a more up-to-date feeling to the article. Very good! This language feature is the use of present tense. How about this one? Toxic wastes are dumped at sea or are buried in the desert. What do you think is featured by the bold-faced words? Correct! This is an example of a passive voice to keep the focus on the subject. Next sentence. The continual destruction of animal habitats to make way for spreading urban populations or increased farming lands for growing food is not right and concerns me greatly. What do you think is the featured language in that article? Great! This is an example of evaluative language. Next sentence. It is understood that the danger will pass because the water has subsided. What about this one? That's right. This is an example of a conjunction used to connect reason to the action. And lastly, people are encroaching on animal territory and soon, Animals will no longer have the space they need. Can you guess the language feature in there? That's right. This is an example of the use of adverb to show sequence of time. Congratulations! We have now finished discussing the key structural elements and the language features of an argumentative text and an exposition. I am hoping that the next time you encounter an exposition, you will be able to understand it better using the structure that we have discussed. Or when you find yourself in a situation where you need to defend your stand, you are equipped with knowledge and how to be more convincing and engaging to your audience. And that concludes our Teletroan session for this day. Thank you so much. Once again, this has been from Science High School.